Just finishing up an L9H 6.2 build. This vehicle has a Camaro SS fan. Mitch wanted to show you the operation of the fan. It's fully integrated into the GM operating system, so the fan only runs when it needs to. There are options to make the fan run at a low speed for an evacuation mode, but right now the fan runs for transmission temperature, engine temperature, AC condenser pressure. You can see we're running a manual transmission aluminum AC condenser. We like to run the manual transmission condensers because they don't have the tranny cooler in the bottom that blocks air. We're then running a freestanding B&M supercooler, which we find to be enough with a low friction 6L80. So Mitch is going to tell us about the fan control. Yes, just as Ravi explained, the GM computer is fully controlling it based off AC pressure, engine temperature, and transmission temperature. What I'll do to demonstrate how well it works, um, right now it's at 199 uh, degrees in Fahrenheit, and the fan is not running, so it doesn't need to. It will come on at about 205, 206. We can uh, put any setting in there, uh, depending on what you need for your build. But uh, Robbie, if you can show the fan, it's uh, not coming on yet. It's going to pretty much stay cool enough to go outside. But I'll go ahead and run it up to 25%, and you'll see uh, how nice it runs. And I want to say take a look at those billet brackets, they're awesome. All three of these builds were completed this week. At the slow speed, you can barely hear it. You can see it turning though. This would be considered an evacuation mode. At 40%, is usually will it be running to cool itself down. It's so efficient with the cooling system. So you can barely hear the fan. This is what it'll normally sound like. Now if you're really pushing the vehicle going up a climb, I'll go up to about 60%. Then from 60%, I'll go up to max speed, which is 100%. At 60%. Up. I can feel the air back here. Alright guys, so this is a little glimpse at the Camaro SS fan upgrade. You'll notice that we have the coolant bottle mounted remotely because there isn't the slot on the shroud as if we had run a Pentstar fan. You'll also notice these little flap of doors on the Camaro which the Head Star fan does not have. All right, so what Mitch is going to show you here is AC pressure versus fan speed. Remember, this fan is not only Hold on. Anything else? Alright, so this fan is being controlled by vehicle speed, engine coolant temperature, transmission temperature, condenser pressure, and other factors. So Mitch is going to show you the relationship of condenser pressure and fan speed. Okay, right now the AC system is not turned on, it's not activated. 
but it's at 67 psi and what's going to happen we'll turn the ac on and you'll see the serial on command come to on through our CAN bus conversion module all right ac is turned on now you see at first the ac pressure will kind of spike up a little bit now fan the fan speed will will start to spin up it's desiring about 50 percent and this is actual speed at 30 percent And it's going to really regulate and hold that AC pressure nice and steady. And I'll turn it off and on because it's already reached the EVAP temperature we have programmed for. It's about 50 degrees here in Vegas, so we're not going to be building a lot of high side pressure up. 150, 160, it's pretty good. But we can see it cycling on and off here. What's nice is you, you won't hear your fan coming on too much. It's staying nice and low around 30 to 40 percent. One more thing we want to look at is the AC idle bump. When the AC compressor turns on, it loads the motor down. So you have to have some way of compensating for that. In the old days, we used an IAC valve. Now that we have a valid AC request and everything is running through the GM computer, you will notice how rock solid this idle is. You can't even tell when the compressor engages and disengages. You can also hear the fan following along with AC pressure. So if we look at our compressor down here, you notice it just disengaged. Engaged. Yet the idle is staying rock solid. And the AC fan control is following. 